Hello everybody, this is one selective head image video by the DFL SRP USB 3 data recovery hardware. And now, I have collected one WD20EZRX new hard drive to the DFL SRP. I have collected it to the SATA 0 port. And now let's run the selective head image. Go to the software DDP. Double click it. Select SATA 0. Then click OK. Power on the hard drive. I'm now using the DDP USB 3 mode. So after the DRD and the DSD status registers are green, and it means the drive gets detected and ready. Now I click the data extraction icon, set up one new project. Then I select uh, the SATA 0 has been used as the source drive. Click next, click disk imaging, click target drive. Because my drive connected to the SATA 1 has the smaller capacity and then I just use the image to file. Click finish. Program is set up the bitmap file. Now we have entered the disk image interface. Here on the left side we Notice there is one button called head map. The head map button is actually the selective head image button. Put your mouse over it, you will find selective head image. Click on the head map, then select the hard drive family. This is one Western digital hard drive ROYL series. Most hard drives in the market, especially new hard drives in the market, belong to the Royal family. Then we select it, click OK. Let's check the Knox window. Then you can find the selective head image starts. From here, you can find the process. This is the processing bar. Status running. Current LBA. The LBA keeps changing. So the program is setting up the map for the head. The head map. Setting up the head map. So it's very fast. Because this is one 2 terabyte hard drive and with a big capacity. So after the, set the head map is going to be completed soon. Okay now, after the head map is set up, you can find the execution complete, the head count 4. At this time, go to the setting menu, then select image by head. Enable selective head image. Then users can select any head you want to image 
For example, I select head 1 only. Or I select head 3 only. Click OK. Then I click Start. And here, users can find out the current head you are imaging from the source drive to the target drive. After the head 3 is imaged, users can go back, stop, and then go back to the image by head menu and select other head to image. So sometimes, in order to save your time, users can run multiple image, multiple paths imaging. For example, path 1, I select head 1 to image. And then path 2, I select path 2. Enable selected head image, I select head 0 to image. And run path 3. I select enable I select the head 2 to image so in this way users can configure each pass and then finally you click OK to image in this way the program will image the head one by one automatically the users don't need to manually wait for the head to be completely imaged and then manually switch to another head. You don't need to do so if you have set up the multi pass image. You can configure each pass. Each pass can be configured differently so that you can image it as much data as possible so this is how you can run the multiple pass image and selective head image see it's easy and powerful thank you for watching this video